Vernon said, Jerry, I can't open the gate. And Jerry Lee said, well, I'll tell you what, we'll be back in a little while. So he backed the car all the way across Elvis Presley Boulevard. He reeled the motor up and put it in drive. So he just took off and rammed the gate. We got all the way up to the house, and Jerry jumped out of the car, started banging on doors, and every police officer in Shelby County, it looked like they just came out of nowhere. And they were arrested, both of us. Again and again, Jerry Lee turned to country music to soothe the Faraday rock and roller within him. He wanted to be on the Grand Ole Opry, worse than anything in the world. And it just so happened that a dear personal friend of mine who managed the Opry. And I said, Bud, Jerry, he wants to do the Opry. They really didn't want us on the show. Roy Acuff threw it a fit. He said, Kill Roy, I don't know, this is a family deal, you know. I said, I promise you, I give you my word that he won't offend anybody. So I told Jerry, I said, Jerry, here's the deal, cartwheel. I said, no profanity, no vulgar moves. He said, I can handle it. He had vowed to leave rock and roll behind five years earlier. But Jerry Lee was just a man born to sin just like the rest of us. When Jerry finished that song, he looked at the artist and he said, I just want y'all to know one thing. The killer is number one, and I am a rock and roll motherfucker. And then he kicked the stool across the stage, and Roy Acuff was out there hollering and carrying on having a fit. That was the last time we played the Grand Ole Opry. Jerry Lee Lewis is the last man standing. He outlasted Elvis, Carl Perkins, Johnny Cash, Liberace, and even Chuck Berry. This was our first recording on Sun Records, 1956. I believe and the word far away, but I feel and they hold on some arm and hold in the air no more. Jerry had such a natural talent. He just had it all. I think he was just born to do what he was doing. He liked it, but he was conflicted because he felt he wasn't doing what he was supposed to do. But who knows what they're supposed to do anyway. He's better than Elvis, Johnny Cash, Carl Perkins, uh, Liberace. He's still the greatest entertainer that ever lived, as far as I am concerned. He was a rock star 24-7. You can't just put it on and take it off. You got to live it, eat it, sleep it, dream it, walk it, and talk it. And he did. He never killed nobody. Never threatened to kill nobody. Might have threatened to hurt him, but he didn't mean it. Wouldn't hurt a fly. You don't have to believe J.W. or any of the J.W.s. Just take it from the killer himself. Well, I wouldn't want them to believe everything they heard because if they believe and read everything that they heard, I would be locked up in a penitentiary for life. <laughs> you can't do things like they said about Jerry Lee Lewis and get by, and get by with it. It's against the law. So I'm really a good boy. <laughs> Right now, oh, killers lost some. 